Another fad of the 60s was making pint-sized cars huge. America's slot car craze began in 1960 with two commercial raceways. But by 1968, their numbers had swelled to almost 5,000. Some of them were as large as bowling alleys. I remember a track I raced in having nine large tracks. Early slot car hobbyists like Ed Harris built their own elaborate tracks and even their own cars. We built them ourselves from a static model kit and then you found a motor somewhere, usually uh, old train motors, and then you put it together yourself. I had scrounged up gears and tires and uh, so forth and we went from there. 60s slot cars may have resembled real automobiles. But their unusually high power-to-weight ratio gave them acceleration that could make Mario Andretti drool. Slot cars are the world's fastest motorsport. A slot car goes from zero to 130 miles an hour in under half a second. There's no real car that comes close. All slot cars uh, get their power from the track, so they have a motor but no batteries or, or power source in the car. Pulling on the trigger of the controller causes electric current to pass from the power source to the track. From there, rails feed the electricity to the car's motor. The more the trigger is depressed, the greater the current, and the faster the car drives. In a way, you might say like driving a car, you come into a corner, you gotta slow down, and you either let back off on the throttle, and then you got to time the speed going around the curve. Go too fast, and you're going to go off. Yahoo! And if you don't go fast enough, somebody's going to pass you. By the late 60s, slot cars had really reached a peak. Uh, there were thousands of tracks all over the country. But interest started to wane, so the manufacturers looked for another way to appeal to the racers, and they came up with the thingy. The thingy was a dramatically styled car that um, uh, they thought would appeal to the youth and, and racers. And these are some examples. Uh, an Asp by Classic, the Gamma Ray by Classic. Uh, this is a Garvin car and an AMT car. They were popular, especially with kids. In fact, Classic's Manta Ray was the best-selling slot car of all time. But they were very unpopular with those who had hand-built accurate models. So it really split the industry and many people believe began the collapse. By the end of the decade, the slot car craze was on its final lap.